We are at your house. That you congratulations on your new house, bro. Thank you. It's beautiful. Very nice. Let me go show a tour real quick. Boop, boop. Keep it moving. Okay. What are we getting done today? All right. So this, you know, ball here. Right here, not too high. Just keep it right there. You want to keep the tape a little low? Yeah, and then I usually do always the six. Don't know. Just a six on top. Yeah. Six Just on top. boom with a number six. Yeah. Or you can if you can want to bring your skills. Yeah, we might we might have to do that. There we go. We'll do the, yeah, the I haven't got this in a while. You though. just like it really short and spiky. Yeah, six is the shortest I'll go. Six is the shortest, and uh, and you like it spiky. Yeah. Like a like brush back, but spiky. Yeah. There we go. With the with the blurry taper, the back blurry taper. Keep it a little bit low, okay? And then you want it lined up here too. Yes, sir. All right. You ready, bro? I'm ready. And you just shave off your beard, so I don't have to worry yeah, about that. And I'll shave my beard, so yeah. Okay. Let's go. YouTube, my model today looks familiar because he was on Your Haircuts My Feedback where I was checking out your haircuts. Look at this calic right here. Obviously, we're going to have to control that. So I'm not really gonna cut that area back there. I'm gonna let that let that grow out because then it'll lay a little bit better. He said he wanted like spiky, so I'm going a little bit longer than finger length, and I'm just going through going little sections by little sections the smaller sections the more even the haircut is going to be and i'll show you what i mean when i cross check i remember when i was first starting you know to try to to try to get better at at my shear work man no matter what i did i just didn't understand why i would have so many peaks and valleys after doing a, a shear cut especially like finger length and then i would cross check and there'd be so many little you know like it was just uneven and was just because I wasn't I was rushing it and I was over directing too much and I, the sections I was taking were too big so here you can see how I'm kind of lifting my fingers up because I want to keep all of that square and so when I get to that area especially um, where I showed you guys it was like it was just kind of stick poking up sticking out um, it wasn't really controlled when I do this shape with my fingers there's no hair to grab which tells me that's exactly what the problem is it was cut too short and it's because he's so used to getting his the top of his hair done with clippers that you can't control you know the hair as well as when you cut with shears if you're just using a guard with clippers so that's why I chose to cut his hair with shears Shout out to my cousin Tito for the beat. Link is in the description. And this was shot on Christmas Day. <laughs> if y'all wondering why my niece was in the background with that those pajamas. Been working for y'all, man. Again, you can see the angle of my fingers. I'm trying to keep the shape squared. Okay, and now you'll see I'll start to cross check. And really, I'm just kind of taking little bits. There aren't any, you know, peaks and valleys like that. Look, that was even. Look at that. That's, that's even. That's even too. I'm just being OCD at this point. But like... I really don't need to cut any of that. It's all even as I'm cross-checking it. And this is something I learned from the Vidal Sosun Academy, where I'm just going scissor with comb real quick, just taking any little bits off, getting it nice and even. All right, the top is done. We will now start our clipper work. We're gonna start with a number three, cause that's what I believe we're gonna leave on the sides. Maybe a number two open towards like the bottom near the hairline. Um, and I'm just, again, using his head shape, I'm not cutting hair um, as I'm getting to the Parado Ridge. Just because you see my guard going in that area doesn't mean it's cutting anything. Especially since I'm using his head shape and I'm just kind of coming off the head, not into his head shape.
once I've done that I have prepared everything for the taper so we're gonna go ahead and start with this initial guideline using my babyless skeleton FX this link is in the description if you want one and I want to show you guys me doing the C cup how I would have originally done it I would have let it natural like that it's not gonna pop he'd rather it pop so we are going to bring it back up to where the last barber had it um, because I'm in Loganville Georgia I'm not you know I don't cut his hair typically so all right so once we've done the shaver we'll go ahead and start our next guideline which which is with the blade open and I'm using the babyless gold FX's link is in the description if you guys want one of those I'm trying to make 2020 a big year <laughs> we got a lot of things planned for 2020 man all right and I'm I'm closing the lever just to go ahead and uh, blend that out and then my next guide is gonna be with my number one closed and I'm almost like blending up I'm not really using sections like I typically do like guidelines I'm just kinda going step by step up um, you'll see that I kinda I changed that on the other side but this was kinda like strategic I haven't cut his hair in a while so kinda learning on this side of his taper um, learning about his hair and uh, you know we you gotta kind of adapt you know what I'm saying you look like like when like Mayweather in the boxing ring you know you don't really know what your opponent strategy is you just kind of checking out the the water seeing what's working what's not and then the rest of the haircut you just go boom full throttle all right two open is gonna be my last guard because we did a number three on the sides remember so from there we went we went too close now we're using a, our one and blending down now we're just gonna blend down all of our steps and really refine this low taper you can see I'm using my half guard now and now you can see I'm using my blade open just blending down refining this low taper because I still want this low taper to have some gradients I don't I, I still want it to to be pretty a really nice tight blend because this taper will last longer than a low taper for example if you started it where his earlobe is right And I'm almost being like surgical right now because although I'm bringing it up to where the last barber had it, I don't want to bring it risk bringing it up any further than that. So I'm really just chiseling at this shape using that. That's why I like these trimmers, like blades like this, over like detailer blades because they're fine and I can really chisel away. I feel like with the detailers, the blade is so thick I can't really see um, the hair and what I'm trying to chisel at as easy right especially the skeleton since they're shaped the way they're shaped you can see so much more of what you're cutting on your canvas all right so that's that side let's go ahead and start this side this is his right side remember he's shaving off his beard we talked about that in his consultation now we got the blade open and we'll start to blend out that first guideline All right, next step is my number one open. And then we're closed. And now we're using a half guard to finish blending out that guideline. Next step, one and a half guard. We'll start open and then we'll go closed. Man, the sound just changed because I'm talking into the mic now. That sounds better, I think. All right, so next step is my one open, and I'll blend down until this guideline is gone. We'll go closed, and then we might need to use our half guard just to finish off the blend. And you can see it's coming together. 
Next step is my number two open. Then we'll do number two close. We'll follow that up with that one and a half guard one more time to bring it together before we line up that C cup and detail it further. And guys, everybody who's been commenting, I appreciate it. I have been looking at all your suggestions, video ideas, and we got almost daily content in the chamber. We got some like, cool ideas, some cool videos coming up. You know, obviously I don't want to just do tutorials. I want to show the business side of barbering. I want to show challenges and fun ideas. You know, have fun with the channel in 2020. It's going to be a big year. All right, so these trimmers right here were given to me by, by a friend of mine. His name is Drew. I'm going to try to find his Instagram. I, I, I know his Instagram, but I'm going to try to post it in the description because these trimmers are dangerous. I mean, first of all, the power and the motor is crazy, but they're too sharp for me. Like, they're so sharp. And, like, I got scared of these things, and I switched back to the Skeleton FXs because they're that sharp. If you're somebody who likes zero gap, like s craft blends i'm gonna let him try these he's gonna go crazy over them because uh the owner of the barbershop that I, I recorded at here in loganville georgia um benny he was going crazy about them. he loved them so i'll probably do a review on those um real soon as well look at his neck taper bro how do you even begin look at this this is one of the most challenging tapers for most barbers wouldn't even know how to 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 go about this right so i'm gonna i'm gonna play it safe and we're gonna blend down with this two guard really really clear my canvas till i get to the about the one open guard the one and a half guard closed okay then we'll start to blend up into that one and a half guard this is just playing it safe because remember he wants it to be a low taper but how do you make this a low taper that's crazy the best i can do is try to create an illusion that it's a lower taper than it really is so in order for me to be able to control the gradients here i'm gonna line it up first and then i'm gonna start to create my 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 blend and guys if you if you're serious about your craft and you want you know a really detailed focused tutorial on this right here um on the online academy you could go to 245 academy.com it's 15 dollars a month you can subscribe we do you know uh, monthly live streams we do more in-depth tutorials and um we also you know we we post business stuff as well so there's also like a little private community in there as well so if that's something that interests you and you want to invest in yourself in 2020 link is in the description it's 15 bucks a month invest in yourself it's also a write-off guys so let's get it i'll see you guys at the 245 academy.com okay so we've created our first guideline and we're starting to blend it out really being careful you guys can see the shape that i created there was on purpose because if i can leave the sides darker and you know attack the middle then i can get a nice blend but that you know also it's because the sides are lighter than the middle so I really got to attack the middle so that it looks even with the sides. Because here's the thing. He has so many different hair growth patterns. If I would have done a straight initial guideline, that, that back taper would have been so much higher. Because no matter what, you're going to have to go higher in the middle because it's so much darker there. If that makes sense. So here I'm using my number one guard closed. And now we're using our half guard. And what we're trying to do now is start to remove that line that you kind of see there. It's getting softer and softer as you can see and the blend is almost coming together. My last step will be probably no guard blade open and then we'll detail from there. Again, every customer that sits in your chair, there are some some models that are amazing canvases for a haircut, 
but everyone has some type of imperfection that you have to try to provide a solution for and let your customers know you're doing that i'm telling you they'll appreciate it and they'll see your service in a different light some people like my brother-in-law here he has way more challenges than others like the fact he he likes lower tapers and then he got this hair growth pattern bro like why you doing you're abusing barbers <laughs> you know what i mean like cool so we'll go ahead and start to line up the front i've already done the right side or his left side and so we're just kind of walking over um uh, the left side i'm sorry that i already did his his left side we're doing his right side now and walking it over to the left so we've completed the lineup we've completed the taper we're going to really refine it with this triple cartridge razor you can get it at 245.com it is all metal even balanced weight three cartridges for different exposures and we're just trying to get this as clean as possible to add longevity to this haircut what I typically do though after I've done you know if if he's gonna get it enhanced for example which we are gonna enhance the cut if he likes it enhanced um, what I'll do is I'll style the hair I'll add the enhancements and then I'll do some finishing touches I'll detail it right I, I'm trying to go above and beyond for I want I want demand before I need to raise like everybody wants to raise their prices bro if you don't have a demand for your product man like it's it's economics 101 supply and demand right so get people addicted to your work get people to see the value in what you do build a demand for it and then you can raise your prices accordingly so what i want is a crazy i want a nice finished product i want his hair styled i'm gonna put some enhancements on that thing i'm gonna detail it afterwards because once i've enhanced it and put that line on him then i can really see his work and I do some last minute touches. And that taper, to me, it came together nicely compared to what it looked like before. Are you kidding me? This is the before, guys. And this is the after. Now, I couldn't get like amazing lighting because we were doing it in his house. So, like, I tried to give you guys in different lightings. I feel like it looked better in person. But you guys let me know what you think about the cut man if you're new to the channel smash the subscribe button because we are posting almost daily content turn on your notifications and i appreciate you guys man right what you think about the cut bro people want reactions i feel i feel blessed did you even look at it yeah i did <laughs> <laughs> but it feels good though oh yeah it feels good oh, yeah. it feels right now i gotta shave i just waiting to everybody to get out of the bathroom so i can shave okay